In this video, I'll be building this crank organ I modeled. It's got 28 pipes and is going to be electronically controlled with solenoid valves. So let's start with the frame and the bellows. Taking this large piece of plywood and cutting it down into the two upper halves of the feeder bellows. I'm screwing the pieces together so I could duplicate features on them. I'm cutting this piece out here for clearance for the rods that are going to drive the bellows up and down. These holes are for the air intake. Later I realized I drilled too many of these and some leaks formed so I had to plug some of them up. For the ribs of the bellows I'm putting down a piece of pallet wood which cleaned up pretty nicely. Now that the frame is glued up, I'm sanding it down flat. For the air intake valves, I'm taking a piece of leather here and cutting it with a plywood template. I'm trying out some of this liquid hide glue to secure it in place. For the coverings of the bellows, I need a lot of leather, so I got this big piece of sheepskin hide, which I'm cutting with a template I made. Here I'm gluing on some cardboard stiffeners. Now the leather was wrapped around the frame which was sanded smooth and I'm going to meticulously apply some of this hide glue with a brush and smooth it out with a paper towel and a dowel so I can get a uniform seal. Here's a pressure test of five pounds of weight. Now I'm gonna start working on the frame. I've got some old oak cabinetry planks which I'm gonna cut up on the bandsaw. There's the frame done. Now I'm going to make the crank mechanism starting with pressing in a brass bushing I made into a plywood frame. And here's the crank mechanism completed. All the metal pieces I made in a machine shop and I used 3D printed miter gears. I'm going to start working on the reservoir bellows, which are which basically going to hold the air. And I'm taking these plywood pieces and gluing them up into an oak frame I made. Now that that's dried, I'm cutting it down the middle of my Japanese saw so the top part can float. And that's the reservoir done. I finished it in the same way as the feeder bellows, and here's a pressure test of five pounds.
In the next video, I'll make a test fixture with one of my solenoid valves and finish the rest of the organ, so stay tuned.